Hi guys, today we're going to create some super easy motion graphic effects in Blender without geometry nodes. And these will work for both text and product animations. There's a great add-on to do this for free and I'm gonna show you where to get it and how to use it. And I'm not gonna skip any steps, so even if you're a complete beginner, you should be able to still follow along with no problems. Let's get started. Starting in a fresh Blender scene, the first thing we're going to do is install the Commotion add-on. So go to Edit, Preferences, and then where it says Get Extensions, and it should say Add-ons up here, you can just type in Commotion here. And there you'll see Commotion, and just press Install. And then it should just appear up there. And also, if you press, let's just get rid of that. You press N on your keypad, you should see a commotion tab now over here. Okay, let's press A to select everything, X to delete everything, and then click delete. Shift and A, we're going to add a text object. So the first thing we're gonna do, press R, rotate, and press X to rotate on the X axis, and then type 90, just to make the text stand up. So with the text selected, press Tab to go into edit mode, Let's change this to animated text. Okay, so if you want to, you can also change the font. Let's do that. If you click on the little uh, font data icon over here, then click on font, you can actually click this icon to open up all the fonts you've got installed on your machine. I'm just gonna choose the first one, Agency Bold. Okay, so now we've got our text what we're going to do is convert it to a mesh. So just right click and convert to mesh. Now when we tab into edit mode, you'll see all of these. So press A to select everything, press P, and then we're going to separate by loose parts. And now you can see up here, we've got lots of different text objects, one for each letter. Tab back into object mode, and you'll see currently they all share the same origin point, which is over here. And we're gonna change that because we want I want each one of these letters to have its own origin point. So just with them all selected, just go to object, set origin, origin to center of mass. And now you can see they've all got individual origin points. Okay, so now we can kind of get onto the fun stuff. So we'll start with the letter A. And what we'll do, we'll go to frame 20 down here in the playback. And I'm gonna press K and we're gonna add a scale keyframe. And then we're gonna to go to frame zero. I'm gonna press S to scale, and we're gonna scale it down. If you press S, then zero, it scales it to, to nothing, effectively. And press enter. Now I'm gonna press K again, and we're gonna add another scale keyframe. So now you can see we've got this nice little scale operation on the A. So to make it slightly more interesting, you can select the keyframes, right click and then where it says interpolation mode you can set this to bounce so now when i press play you see we get a, let's just go a bit closer you can see we get a subtle bounce as the a appears okay now normally what you'd do if you wanted to animate all this text you'd have to copy these animation frames paste them onto each one and then basically offset the animation for each one but not this time so we're gonna select all the text, and we're gonna make sure your A, let's just move forward, is actually got the active selection, so that's a slightly different orange color to this slightly darker orange color. Then if you go to your side panel, so press N if you can't see it, and go to the Commotion tab. Press on the Animation Utils little drop down arrow, and then press Copy. And this will copy the animation from the A to all of the other text that we've got selected. So you see they're all animated at once now. And next we're going to use the offset animation. Um, and we're gonna offset each animation by two frames and then press offset animation. And suddenly all of the text bounces into place. Now if this is in the wrong order, um, we've got sort by name selected here and text 11 is the A. Um, we're going to click this button here that says reverse and then press offset animation again and you'll see they come in in the correct order. You can also tweak the order um, using even the 3D cursor. So if you press shift on your keyboard and right click 
I've chosen the center of the E. Um, we can actually use the 3D cursor as the, the basically the start point of the animation. So if we go back to frame zero and then press offset animation again, you'll see now that all the text comes in from basically where the 3D cursor was pointed, which was in the center. How fantastic is that? Okay, from here, let's just uh, do another alternative animation. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna have all of these text selected, press Shift and D to duplicate, press Z, and we'll just move them up here on the Z axis. So now with all your new text selected, let's just press, select all the keyframes, press A, and then press X and delete the keyframes. That will get rid of any animation on the keyframes. A selected, we are going to press K, and we'll add in a rotation keyframe. And then go back to frame zero, and what we'll do, we'll set this X here, we'll set this to zero, and we'll insert another a single keyframe there. So now you can see our text goes like this. And again, if you want to, you can press T to add uh, an interpolation effect, something like elastic or maybe back. Let's just watch that. So it kind of just overshoots slightly and then rolls back into place. Um, and you know the score now, we select everything. Uh, if we start this at frame 50, go to commotion, uh, we, with everything selected and the A as the active selection, we copy the animation and this time we'll, off, we'll make it a little bit quicker. So we'll just offset by one frame. Uh, we'll sort by name in reverse order and then we'll press offset animation. And you'll see now it starts from frame 50. So that's our animation on the second animation. So now we've got two lots of animated text in fact, let's just roll, um, let's just press play on that. Uh, we'll add in a background quickly. Rotate X 90, scale 5, grab G to grab Y to move on the Y axis. And let's just give this a material, a dark, like a, maybe a dark blue material. And this, we'll, we'll uh, select all of these. In fact, let's just do one. We'll do a new material. We'll make this yellow. So with all of those selected and the T as the active selection, you can press Control L, link materials, and they'll all become yellow. Now we just need to set up a camera. I'm gonna press Control Alt and zero on the number pad. Uh, just put the camera, same as the viewport. Let's just move it down slightly on the Z. Let's just scale that up. And you can see now We've got two lots of animated text, really, really quick and easy. Now, obviously, we don't just have to use um, text objects to animate in uh, Commotion. Let's just go to Blender Kit. I'm going to just select free first. There's a link in the, uh, the description down below if you don't already have this. I'm gonna search for a keyboard. Uh, we'll choose the second one. This is a, the G915 keyboard. I'm just gonna drop it on top of the default cube. Let's just zoom into it by pressing period on the number pad. Okay, so we've got kind of a, a nice little keyboard here. Just click on one of the keys to select them all. Press tab to go into edit mode, P, and then separate by loose parts again. That separates all the keys basically. Uh, with all of them still selected, press tab to go back to object mode, press M, and we're gonna move them to a new collection called keys. Create that collection. Now you can see we've got all the keys nice and separate down here. Um, what we're going to do, um, we're gonna have all these keys basically move up and then kind of slot back into place one by one. Uh, but because we want to move them in the Z axis, I'm going to rotate this keyboard slightly first. So I'm just gonna press uh, three on the number pad with the keyboard selected, R to rotate. I'm just gonna rotate it so it falls flat. You'll see why I do this in a minute. Okay. So now you can right click on the keys. I'm gonna select all the objects. We still need to select an origin point. So each key has its own individual origin. So just go to object, set origin to the center of mass again is fine. Okay. So if we go to frame 20, with one key selected, we're just gonna right click on the Z and we're gonna insert a single keyframe. And then we're gonna to go to frame one and we're just gonna push this Z value up a little bit. 
and we're going to insert a single keyframe. So now the key falls down in place. So what you need to do uh, is again right click on the keys folder, select all the objects. You'll see we've got the active selection on the, the one we've animated. Go back to commotion, go to animation utils and press copy. This copies the Z animation onto all the keys. We're going to set the offset to two and we're going to offset the animation. In fact, we'll do it with the 3D cursor again. So put the 3D cursor, I'm going to use the top left over here. Uh, sort by cursor and then press offset animation. So you'll see now from frame 23, they all fall down into place nicely. I think we're going to speed this up slightly. So let's just uh, set the offset to one. Go back to frames zero and press offset animation again. That's pretty nice. If you want to do it even faster, you can set the offset to 0.5 and they fall into place even faster like that. The last thing we need to do is just click on the keyboard again, go to that side view, press R to rotate. Let's just offset it again as it was. You'll see all the, the uh, keys now animate at a slight angle, so not quite vertical as they should. And there you have it. A really beautiful, quick and easy way to do some great motion graphics and no geometry nodes required. How about that? Drop me a link in the comments if you do anything great with this. I'd love to see what you've got up to. I'll see you in the next one.